Hello and welcome to this IMS Consulting webinar, where we'll explore what's new in Archibus version 26.1. If you have any questions about Archibus version 26.1 or any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We can be reached via phone at 800-764-6685 or directly on our website through the contact page or our website live chat. My name is CJ Singer, and I'm a technology consultant here at IMS Consulting, where we've been implementing Archibus for more than a decade. Archibus version 26.1 is the next release in Archibus's targeted quarterly cadence. It offers several new features, as well as improvements to existing features. Many of these enhancements are a direct response to customer suggestions in the user voice forum. If you have ideas for future Archibus enhancements, enter them in the Space IQ user voice forum. While there, you can also vote on ideas submitted by other customers. Be sure to share your ideas as your feedback drives the changes and enhancements made to Archibus. As companies return to the office during the COVID-19 pandemic, many are implementing a hoteling strategy in which employees book seats for days they'll be in the office. To support the increased use of hoteling, Archibus has implemented several new features for booking seats. All of these new features can be found in the self-service workplace application, while others apply both to workplace and the create booking task. Since the self-service workplace app is a handy way for all staff to book their seats, they have also updated the workplace interface to meet WCAG accessibility requirements. Here are some of the updates made. They made forms keyboard compatible. Users move through a form using the tab key and arrow keys. They select form elements using space and enter. They replaced the floor plan with a list of rooms. Rather than selecting rooms by choosing them from a floor plan, users select rooms from a room list. They changed the navigation actions to be clearly accessible to screen readers. They added text labels to each element, changed colors to meet contrast requirements, changed complex screen layouts to fit smaller screens, and implemented auto-complete. A hoteling strategy in which a staff member books a temporary seat each time they work in the office has been key for customers planning their return to work during the COVID pandemic. Many of these customers are providing staff with the self-service Archibus Workplace application as the tool to use to book seats. With more customers using the Workplace application, they have made the following changes to the Archibus Workplace to improve employee experience when booking workspace seats. As the COVID pandemic situation improves and employees return to their offices, facility managers might want to have employees verify their current health status before they check into book spaces. Having employees assess and verify the state of their own health before occupying a workspace helps to prevent infections from spreading and reduces the risk to other employees. Additionally, this type of check may be required by local regulations. If you have implemented a check-in procedure for book spaces, you can add a health check procedure for users who check in using Workplace. From the dashboard or reservation screen, users will encounter a health check button, which presents a list of health conditions they must confirm. Once employees confirm that they are not experiencing these symptoms, the check-in button activates and they can check in per standard procedures. You can customize the health check message that lists the symptoms. The next improvement is the ability to book a seat near a colleague. An employee booking a seat may wish to see where a colleague is sitting, either in a permanent or book seat, and then book a desk near that colleague. Proximity to colleagues may improve collaboration and productivity. Workplace now supports the following sequence, so users can book near a specified colleague. First step is to search for a colleague using the Find Person Room or Equipment screen. Workplace loads the floor plan showing the employee's permanent or hotel location. Next, click on the Book a Workspace button. If there are available seats on this employee's floor, Workplace shows them while retaining a marker for the searched colleague. If there are no available seats on this employee's floor, but there are seats available in the building, Workplace opens to a floor that does have bookable rooms, starting with the floor with the lowest display order. If there are no available seats on the employee's building, you can enter search criteria to search for a location. You can select a room to book nearby or enter additional search criteria and click search. Next is the ability to indicate booked rooms on the floor plan. Employees returning to work after the global pandemic are concerned about workplace safety. When booking a seat, they would like to see the other desks that have been already booked nearby and by whom. This information can help them choose a seat that they are comfortable occupying. To meet this need, Workplace now highlights in gray 
other book seats on the floor plan. Users can click on the book space to obtain information about who is occupying the seat. For example, a user might not want to book room 118 since the adjacent room 117 is already booked. Let's now take a look at the hoteling improvements. With more and more sites using Arcbus hoteling features, in which users book a seat for temporary use, customers have suggested improvements to the hoteling procedures. Arcbus have added two new parameters. Both apply to workspace bookings made with Workplace and the Create Booking task. Additionally, they have made hoteling changes that apply only when booking a seat from Workplace. The first is enforcing full-day bookings. As part of their return to work strategy, many companies are implementing a hoteling solution as the primary way that employees occupy seats. In this situation, employees need rooms for the entire day. Also, during this time of reduced travel, you will likely have a few visitors or off-site employees who are attending a meeting on site and need working space for only a half the day. In this case, you may wish to enforce a policy that rooms can be booked only for the full day by setting the full day bookings only application parameter. With this setting, Workplace and the Create Booking view hide the options for full day morning and afternoon. All bookings would be automatically set for the full day. The second change limits the number of days in advance that employees can book seats. To better control the limited available desk resources, Workplace administrators can limit the number of days in advance that employees can book seats by setting the max days ahead parameter. Limiting advanced bookings can lead to better use of space as employees are not tying up seats far in advance when they actually might not need those seats when the book date arrives. Now let's take a look at the user experience updates. Archibus version 26.1 introduces Report Central a new and simplified report designer wizard geared towards Archibus Foundations and SaaS customers who need a simple yet effective report wizard to build personalized reports and charts. When an out-of-the-box Archibus report does not meet your needs, use this tool to build your own simple reports and charts by selecting desired tables and specifying fields and filters. Archibus users accustomed to using Smart Client to analyze multiple tables or use advanced data filtering will find that they can use the Report Central to produce the same result using a streamlined, user-friendly wizard interface. With Report Central, you can take advantage of well-styled templates and predefined chart types that are easy to customize. You can report on multiple tables and restrict data to get the requested outcome. And you can reuse a previously defined report. Now let's shift to the improvements to the Move console. Archibus has made the following improvements to the Move console interface in order to help the Move coordinator more effectively work with the console. You may now request a Move directly from the Move console. Many customers have a Move call center in which a department manager or other staff call the Move coordinator to request a Move. Move coordinators who work heavily in the Move console can now initiate moves directly from the console without having to load another view. When they receive a call requesting a move, they access the Request Move button for a menu of all possible move types. With this change, the Move console now operates like the Maintenance console, which enables maintenance managers to report maintenance issues directly from the Maintenance console using the Report Problem button. They have also added additional fields on the More filter of the console. The More filter now includes Division Code, Project Code, Project Name, and Move Order. Based on user voice ideas, Archibus has implemented the following improvements to the Space Console. You may now print floor plans without highlights. Customers have requested the ability to print from the Space Console floor plans that do not have any highlights. For example, staff members might want to print out floor plans and then make notations on the hard copies for their own unique purposes, such as work orders, department reviews, reports, and one-off maps. A printed floor plan that is highlighted in various colors is not necessary, and in fact the highlights might detract from notations that the user makes. To support this use case, you can now print a floor plan from the Space Console without the Space Console first prompting you to set a highlight if one is not already set. Additionally, when you search for a room or employee, the Search Console will now zoom into the room or the room housing the employee, both hoteled or permanent seat. This is especially convenient when you have a large floor plan or small rooms, as the automatic zoom saves you from having to scan the floor plan for employees or rooms. 
The Space Console now zooms the floor plan under these conditions. When you use Advanced Search to search for a room or employee, and the search results finds a single room or single employee. And if you use the employee search and pick a location, either a permanently assigned or hotel seat, from the search results. To support sites that use the employee code field to store an identified employee number and the employee name field to store the employee's name, the Space Console offers labels for both employee name and employee code. This enables users to list a descriptive employee name on the floor plan rather than the employee's identifying code. You can now move employees to new locations on the floor plan by dragging and dropping either the employee name label or the employee code label. The Space Console is a powerful tool, and searching for the data you need is an important part of using the console. Archibus version 26.1 Space Console has improved methods and new features for searching. These changes reduce the number of clicks required to find the data you need and improve the overall experience of using the Space Console. The first is the Search Modes and the Select Search Fields form. As a user, I would like to specify the fields on which I want to search floors for so that I receive more targeted results and spend less time waiting. And as a power user, I would like to have an easy way to switch from quick search to query search and employee search so that I can search for floors in different ways based on my needs. The Space Console search box now offers three modes of search, quick, employee, and query. Choose the search mode and the search box located to the left activates the appropriate behavior for the selected mode. When you set the fields on which to search using the new selected search fields form, the selection applies to all modes. Next is the employee search. I often need to quickly search for employees without accessing the advanced search form. Moreover, I would like to search by permanency and hotel location. Searching for employees is vital to managing occupancy and space planning. The Space Console now supports employee search right from the search box. Set the search mode to employee, enter a few characters of the name of the desired employee in the search box, and the results box will update with the employees it finds. To support current trends of hotel seats in an agile workplace, the results include both permanent seats and hotel locations for today. Now the query search. As a power user, I'd like to do an exact search for a specific field by typing a field, choosing an operator, and typing a value so that I can find the floors that match the exact value for the specified field. With the Space Console's query search feature, power users can quickly isolate assets for which they know the code or name without having to use the advanced search form. Now let's explore some of the Web Central framework changes. You can now check in a document to a document field by dragging it in from the File Explorer. Dropping the file immediately checks the file into Archibus with the original file name. Archibus plans to enhance this feature in 26.2. Archibus has also updated the highlight of a selected item on a tree panel so that the selection is more clearly visible. For example, on Departments by Division. Customers commented that on busy drawings, it was sometimes hard to see the drawings toolbar housing the zoom, pan, and other commands. Archibus has updated the toolbar with a brighter and larger icons that are clearly visible when the drawing toolbar overlays the drawing content. Lastly, Archibus has added space access analysis from employee badge data. Collecting badge data on employees' entry into the building can provide a wealth of information for a space manager. Badge data reveals the set of employees who actually access the facility. This data has several uses. It shows if users who book workspaces actually enter the facility on the reserved day to occupy the booked seat. Analyzing this data shows your site's unused booking and inefficient use of space. Tracking badge data also encourages employees to take accountability for their booked space and cancel the requested booking in advance if necessary. It supports contact tracing for potential exposure to COVID virus. A system of contract tracing is vital for a safe return to work by preventing liabilities and increasing employee confidence in the environment. It provides a clearer picture of space usage than does a listing of the employee's permanently assigned seats. By analyzing the seen employee data, you can monitor efficiency of space use and ensure you have enough capacity, especially for potential peak days. To accommodate badge data analysis, Archibus version 26.1, 
provides a connector for collecting badge data and a simple building utilization report that presents building level utilization trends and a data grid. The Space Access Analysis Report provides daily utilization percentage, peak daily utilization, and daily utilization trends. That concludes the new additions to Archibus version 26.1. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us again on a future webinar. If you have any questions about version 26.1, or any other questions for that matter, please reach out to us. You can find us online at ims.consulting and on LinkedIn. Feel free to call us or email us anytime. Here's our contact information. Have a wonderful rest of your day.